she's so scared. Black lions. Should I say, I'm wrong like that. guys it's your girl sammy back with another video and today guys i'm back with yet again another reaction video as you guys can see by the title all american layla and jordan look y'all can go back and do y'all research i was one of the first people to ship them not because the it seemed forced but because like it just seemed like a good match even though um i don't think i reacted to it i watched it alone but People that keep up with, you know, the actors behind the scenes. Greta, the, the person that plays Layla, she wasn't really here for that relationship. But me, as an audience member, I'm here for it. It seems really cute. It wasn't really forced this whole season. It just seems natural. It seems like what they both need. I feel like Layla needs a freaking Jordan. And I feel like Jordan needs a Layla. Like, Layla has come a long way from season one Layla. I like this Layla. She's... I won't say she's, you know, stopped growing because she still had a lot of character development to do, but she's she's come a long way. She's she's come a long way. Real all American fans know that. But besides that, like Jordan and Simone, realistically, I never thought it was gonna work out. Why? Because of the way that relationship even came about. It came about because she tried to act like he was the baby daddy of her baby and he wasn't even the baby daddy of her baby. It was another man. It was another man that was the baby daddy, if I'm not mistaken. It wasn't even Jordan. And they ended up dating each other and barely knowing each other. And then they ended up getting to know each other. But it's still like the foundation alone wasn't just there for me. But her and him and Layla, it's just like I'm here for it. And, you know, I wasn't here for the breakup though. Like, I feel like they should have been my dog breaker with her, if anything. I don't know what happened with Homecoming when he was talking about her and uh, that light-skinned man. But all I know is, I'm going to watch Homecoming. I've been telling y'all I'm going to watch it, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I've been watching too many shows. But Homecoming, I just want to see when All Americans over. I'm going to binge watch that just to see, like, if there's any cross episodes, any things I'm missing with her. Jordan and Simone you feel me and how they ended because the ending to me the way they broke up it was really out the blue like I was really confused she just got back <laughs> but you know if you watch homecoming you probably like I seen this show coming so you feel me let me know in the comments down below if you see this show coming um but yeah we're gonna get into this um you know reaction of what they about to talk about <laughs> Um, but before we do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Also, let me know what other videos you guys can see in the comments down below. My hair looks a freaking mess. I'm looking in the mirror right now and I hate it. But, um, enough of that. Let's get into the video. Alright guys, here we go. Hey. Hey. That was... The most JJ thing ever? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Man, that episode was a mess. So we gonna talk about it about his friends. So do I. I'm really sorry our friendship came between you and Simone. And realistically, Listen. it's like, I wouldn't say the friendship came and I would just say they developed some some stuff they failed to realize. And that's what happens a lot of the time. It's like people who have boy best friends or become boy best friends with somebody who wasn't their boy best friend since childhood um a lot of times you can peep like a certain tension and just an aura like one of them like one of them and it's hard because the, half the time they do be taken and then that's why girls be like oh i don't want to date nobody that got a girl best friend or girls be like i mean boys be like i don't want to date them they got a boy best friend because of stuff like this realistically stuff like this happen that's not always the case but all I'm telling you now, if you legit and you watching this and you got a, a friend in high school, you feel me? And you know, you like a boy that got a girl best friend, just just be expected for something like this to possibly take off. That's all I'm gonna say. And let's just get back to it. Maybe you were you were right. 
I was... I was trying to prove a point by sleeping with all those girls. But I wasn't was trying to okay prove that it. I was over Simone. That's not even Jordan. I was trying to prove that Simone was wrong about you. What do you mean about me? Hey, let's she stop playing. See something between us? Well, did you tell her that we're just friends? Yes. I lied to her. <laughs> Jordan, I don't think I have feelings for you, Layla. And despite my best efforts these past couple of weeks, I can't make them go away. And honestly, I don't want to anymore because. Because I think that you feel the same way. She's so scared. Mm -hmm. So scared. My whole thing with Layla this season is the scaredness. Like she doesn't want to be close to anybody. She don't want nobody to be close to her. Which is why we all see this Layla Jordan thing coming. Cause he was the only one that she allowed herself to be vulnerable with. She wasn't even allowing herself to be vulnerable with Olivia. Olivia, my people, Olivia. Uh, so that should tell us something. And man, I just ship it. Let me know in the comments down below if you ship them together. I do. I think they're really cute. Um, I hope them. I hope they work out for the best. I hope it makes both of them grow. Um, I'm just here for it. I'm just really here for it. I think it's really cute. You know, Layla finally gets somebody that that I can see her with for the first time. So I'm really loving it. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. How you guys feel about them? As a whole, you think it's forced or are you here for it? I just want to know in the comments. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye.